Iron Mountain Chick, the 2010 Utah State National Geographic Field Champion. I'm here today at Brighton Ski Resort in the Wasatch Forest of Utah. I really like to ski in Utah because of all the really good snow on the ground. This is caused by the Great Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake is one of the largest lakes in the U.S. It's so large that it affects most of the weather in the Salt Lake area. Besides its excellent ski resorts, Utah has many other famous sites. For example, Temple Square. Temple Square is the 15th most visited place in the U.S which means about a million people visit that place every year. Utah is also known for its five national parks. Arches, Bryce, Capitol Reef, Canyonlands, and Zions National Park. Utah is so blessed with natural scenery that nearly 70% of all of its land is covered with national parks, national monuments, national forests, etc. etc. Besides Utah's many natural forests and parks and other things, Utah also has many natural walkways and small rivers, perfect for fishing, biking, and other outdoor activities. For its magnificent scenery, its stunning mountains, and bountiful wildlife, you should definitely make Utah as one of the places you want to go. One of the places I've always wanted to visit is Europe. I really want to visit Europe because of all the diverse culture, the interesting history, the beautiful landscape, among other things. Some places I especially want to visit are the Big Ben Tower in London, um, Florence in Italy, and the Rhine River Basin in Germany. To study for the National Geographic B, I primarily use two things, the internet and books. On the internet, I searched up a lot of information on sites, mainly Wikipedia. On books, I used books that had a lot of geographic information, but I also used books that had like questions in them, such as A Thousand and One Questions by Sir Matt Rosenberg and Geography Demystified by Ram Iyer. Besides geography, I do other things. Most of this involves piano. My favorite composer is Chopin. I really like his music because it's really dynamic and expressive. My second most favorite composer is Rachmaninoff. That is basically because I like his piece the most out of all the pieces I'm playing right now. Well, the name of the piece, anyway, is Rachmaninoff's A2 Tableau, Op. 33, number. 7 or 8 depending on the publisher. It's all really confusing because of something that happened and it's too long to tell. Oh, and did you know one pint of hippopotamus milk has about 1500 calories. You could burn all these calories off by banging your head against the wall for 10 and a half hours. I like sports, but my most favorite is soccer. When I play soccer, I'm usually on the defense because that's my best position. And um, I'm relatively good at it, and my teammates call me the wall. <laughs> I really like soccer because it involves complex footwork and on the spot thinking, which requires just mental capability. Like the average American kid, I play video games. I mean, who doesn't really? <laughs> well, I usually play my PSP, but otherwise not so much. I especially like Star Wars even though it's really outdated and really bad graphics but <laughs> over the past few years being green has been a very hot topic. I think being green means being environmentally friendly such as using renewable resources instead of non-renewable resources, protecting those non-renewable resources for future generations, and planting more trees and not littering and things like that. National Geographic has helped me expand my knowledge of the world around me. Its magazine is my most favorite. That is also probably because that is my only magazine. Well, anyway, I would really like to thank National Geographic for hosting and sponsoring its excellent competition.